welcome back to, uh, to the channel guys so today i am installing uh, these guys uh they finally came in as you can see there's the part number so don't ask me it's right there <laughs> uh yeah so as far as i know you don't need anything else when you install these as, as far as i know uh if you do need something else to install these which is happens sometimes with rev d parts for especially for the mc1 and they don't tell you till after uh we're gonna find out here in this video right so I'm gonna take all this apart. Um, you don't need me to. You don't need me to show you that because if you put this together, you know how to take it apart, right? So I'll bring you guys back when I'm installing this guy, which is it's pretty much straightforward. But I'll just bring you back just to save some time. So I just have well one of the knuckles off, as you can see. It's the one on my left. The one on my right is still there. So just to be clear, uh, for you know, if you don't know the right one would be your right so just imagine yourself you're in the car as a driver and then your right side would be my left right now so as far as it is to turn this guy around right this would be my right side this would be my left side and the reason i'm just saying that or bringing it out there is because these guys are labeled right right the other guy is over here left right so yeah, and I'm only saying that because there's been a lot of whitey twos that I've seen in the past. People always put knuckles on in the wrong places, so I just want to specify that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the knuckles are, are almost identical. They're a little bit different. As you can see, there's more like a, a chamfer cut there, right, compared to that there, the angle there, right? There's more material in that corner compared to that corner as well. As you can see... The difference there, you see that? Compared to that one right there and there, there's difference, right? So center to center, that's different. Less material out here on this one than there's on this one. So this will change, um, it'll change your steering, your arm. So it'll be uh, more higher up, I should say, right? But it shouldn't affect you too much, but we're gonna find out after. Uh, it, but it's even here in the instructions, as you can see right there, right? right the aluminum and then the molded molded is the plastic ones right aluminum is the aluminum right so you just gain a little bit all right so it shouldn't make too much of a difference to be totally honest with you uh but yeah so all my parts are there as you can see that i've taken off and then the same way you take it off is the same way you put it back on right so it's, it's not that not too complicated it is going to be a little difficult to do this with one with one hand I don't know where my stand went. Somebody borrowed it and then bring it didn't bring it back. And no well, one's at the house right now for me to try to find out who did it. Uh yeah, no. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back and have this put back together with both my hands. Alright. So I got my knuckle uh fully assembled and I just wanted to show you guys that see all the oh well focus? It'll focus. See how the bearing sticks out a little bit? You think you're wrong, but it's that's actually where it is. You can see where the the pin is. The pin is exactly where it needs to be. Right? Because then if if that bearing was supposed to be all the way down, then there'll be too much of a gap between the the this pin and the bearing, right? So that's that's where it is. And if you wanted to, you can take this part out. And you can see inside. Oh <clears throat> you can check the inside, like looking in through there. And you'll see the space is exactly the same as the original one. But again, there's more, there's less material on the aluminum than there is on the plastic, right? Even for that part there, for this thickness here, there's less material. So the bearing is meant to stick out like that. So you're not wrong if that's what you see is happening. It's a, yeah, it's the way it is. Uh, the other question, the other thing I was going to tell you guys is, <clears throat> I got a few questions. How do I adjust? Because everybody knows these are all fixed links right and fixed links means there's no uh um what do you call it um oh i forgot the name of the word shoot uh ball studs no not ball studs i have turnbuckles there's no turnbuckles like my rear you see the rear of my rdx it has turnbuckles there so i can adjust the camber so it's not fixed like this like the way it comes out of the box yes it's fixed like this but you can always buy turnbuckles if you wanted to and you know make it work but these ones here for the front i just wanted to show you guys 
you can you can turn these. See how mine has a little bit of gap there? Right? See a little bit of play? That's right. So you can turn these are still adjustable. You can just turn it back or you can't turn it more because it's really tight because the instruction tight to turn it all the way forward, all the way in, so it's tight. But you can always remove it or turn it back one turn to give yourself less camber in the front if I believe stock camber is like 10, 10 or 11. I forget. Uh, if you don't like that, right? And you can always do the same thing for the bottom ones too, right? You can, so you can make this come out more. You know what I mean? The only ones you can, but you can't do anything for the steering. But the steering's already, in my honest opinion, like perfect. Like the angle I'm getting with it. All right? The only reason I'm upgrading these is because these give me a little more adjustability. Uh, it's less material as well, so that it's a, it's different, as you can see. All right? The holes, the placement of the holes are practically the same. Right, but in the end, it's mostly mostly cosmetic with a little bit of performance, a little bit of not too much performance. Right, this will spin more freely now too over plastic over time. Right, so if you guys are asking me for honest opinion, if this is a performance upgrade or just a, a looks, uh, it's a 50 50 50 50 for me, my opinion. Right, of course, it's all subjective. Right, so I'm just gonna put this guy back on. Obviously, I don't have my stand like i was saying so i gotta do it by hand <laughs> uh but yeah again if you guys took that off you know how to put this one back on so i'm just gonna get this one done with as well come doing one at a time and then uh i'll bring you guys back when it's fully done oh well i said i'll bring you guys back when i'm done but just i almost forgot to show you i i did it but then i took it off um i just put my right my hub back back on and i was gonna put my brake caliber back on right because i was gonna show you guys but as you can see, when you put the brake caliper back on, this is the RDX one, right? It doesn't fit. See that? It doesn't line up. It, it, Sorry, it lines up, but it just doesn't touch the metal part. And the reason, again, is because there's more material, right? As you can see, there's more material on the plastic one, right? Right? And there's less material there, right? So you got that gap now. So the gap is easily fixed by putting spacers there. So you just have to get enough enough spacers so it, you know it lifts up so you're not rubbing on it right so you just up above it enough so you don't rub right and then um yeah so that's the only problem if you guys could uh, get that problem it's just just some spacers i don't have any spacers in my collection of junk stuff here i seem to use all my spacers uh so i'm not gonna get this guy on maybe maybe i will maybe i won't <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd bring that up for whoever is assembling that you you have you need spacers, so that's one thing you need that the instructions don't tell you, is that you'll need spacers to put the caliper style back on. All right, all right. So I'll bring you guys. Uh, oh, let me see. Before that though, I didn't I didn't actually try this part. Was to see if the screws will still reach. Cause there's less material so you'll need you'll just need some longer bolts oh, okay so the bolts will still reach you'll get about three threads in there so if anything i would maybe put some longer longer screws but not too long because if you get too too long then they'll go into the bearing right and then the bearing won't spin freely as you can see this is this is if i can hold it with one hand all right this is pretty Oh, still rubbing on my hands somehow. All right, you can see, still pretty free. All right. All right, now to bring you guys back when I have this on there. I'll see if I can put a spacer. If I have a spacer, if I can find one, I'll check again. Uh, you'll see what it looks like with the spacer there. So I was, I was just about to put it all together. Then I realized I did find spacers. As you can see there. There are black ones as well to make those fit. And if you guys are wondering, those are three mil, right? The spacers right there. These right here. These are three mil spacers. That's the size. So if you need, if you guys are wondering, that's the size there. And then as you can see, I centered it so it's perfect, right? And then it still rotates, right? As you can see, if I had a wheel on, it'll spin more. But that's the best I can get out of that, all right? So just so you guys are wondering, three mil spacers and it works. You can see I got both sides on, All right? Boom, boom. Let me get the wheels on and then show you guys my steering. But eh, steering from up here, 
practically the same. Yeah, you guys are golden. Right. Very good. Very well done by, by, RD, by uh, Rev D for this. Uh, and let me get these wheels on and then bring you guys right back. All right, so here's the top view. As you can see, the knuckles are in there. All right? In there. And then, uh, yeah, steering. Still perfect. Still good. All right? I'm not rubbing. I'm not touching anything, right? So I'm still good. So again, uh, if people didn't, if you skip the videos to the end, it is a performance upgrade. It for me, it's a 50-50, right? You lose some material, so it's uh, a little bit better, a little more cleaner look. So that's all cosmetic, but then you lose some material in certain things, uh, like again, the geometry for this guy here, the arms, right? With that arm there, it changes a little bit because it's not, right? It's a little bit lower. Right, but uh, yeah, no, performance wise, um, it's a 50 50 battle, <laughs> right? For the knuckles, if the knuckles had more, um, uh, more locations, like if I could change the location from here to like the back or to the front, so I had like another hole, then it's a performance upgrade because you have it gives you a different, a different uh, hole position, right? Even if the holes are at the bottom in two different spots, it'll give you a different position, so then it'll, it'll be a performance uh, upgrade 100%. But it will perform a little bit better because it's it's not plastic, it's aluminum. So the bearings are cleaner. It'll be cleaner to run, it'll be more smoother. And then, you know, there's no flexing either. Right? There's not much flexing plastic either as well though, but you know, just it is what it is. But yeah, again, to me, it's 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 about 10, 20% performance over the plastic, right? The aluminum, but it, yeah, it's not broken, it didn't fix, but knuckles has always been a performance thing for me. So that's why I do it. So yeah, it, it really comes down to being subjective. But that's enough rumbling for, around for me. Um, yeah, well, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and then uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.